zero. Our visit. Okay, is this going to be his off the court office? Steph Curry just snapped up a building in a San Francisco neighborhood, and it happens to be a neighborhood he helped make more valuable. Our business tech reporter Scott Budman joins me now with the real estate purchase and really everything Steph touches uh, turns to gold. He's like the Midas of the basketball court. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Jessica. Curry just closed on an office building in the Dog Patch area of San Francisco for eight point five million dollars, bringing even more attention to an. Area that has lately gotten red hot. The office building on 20th in Illinois sold for almost six times what it went. Ooh, almost six times. That's how much he used to cost. Steph Curry, he bought it down um, for 8.5 mil. 8.5 mil. Ooh, that's kind of high. Yeah, boy. Hey. You you can we, we can't knock it those the Steph Curry um he the, those guys they got the money we can't knock it so what to do yeah the man got the money or in 2021 that's a big jump in a short time there's great energy um, I can see why Steph wanted money. to make that investment. <laughs> Steph, as in Steph Curry, whose title-winning career with the Warriors recently moved to the nearby Chase Center. Add in Pier 70, UCSF, and a revamped Embarcadero, and SF Chamber of Commerce CEO Rodney Fong says, you have the makings of a much-desired part of town. I think it's mixed use. I think it's all of these things that are with proximity and walking distance and uh, not necessarily jumping your car, and yet feeling the intimacy of a neighborhood. Speaking of the neighborhood, housing has been hot here, too. We know that uh, it's an area that commends higher incomes relative to the rest of the country. A section of the city that's been on the rise may be soon to benefit from the Steph effect. Maybe we should do this call again where we finally see some, you know, maybe some network, some effects, right, coming from, you know, him coming in and other people wanting to meet, to move closer. He's got a point. The building, by the way, within walking distance to Chase Center will reportedly become the new headquarters for Curry's company, 30 Inc. We reached out to that company for comment, but did not hear back. Jessica? Well, I'm sure we're going to be hearing a lot more about that. Thank you, Scott. I didn't want to live paycheck to paycheck anymore. I wanted to do more for my family. So I enrolled at my computer. Shout out to Steph, Steph Curry, man. Mm -hmm. I'm out. Peace. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe.